Well, folks, in today's video, we're going to be unboxing what very well could be the largest parcel ever sent to this channel. Um, this was sent to me from uh, David Z to G Scale, as well as uh, David from uh, DB Tech, and I have no clue what is in this box. All I was told uh, from uh, David Z to G Scale is that whatever's in this box will uh, help me stand out at train shows. So I don't uh, know exactly what that means, but I'm very excited to see what exactly is in this box that relates to that comment. So uh, yeah, we're gonna I'm gonna put this thing down on the floor and we're going to uh, unbox it. That way we can uh, actually unbox this thing properly, and we'll uh, find out what's inside. Now, uh, on an unrelated note, the video quality of this video should be uh, higher than usual because this is also the very first video I've ever shot with my uh, iPhone 11. So, uh, yeah, we're going to see if that makes any difference. Let me know uh, if you guys notice any difference in quality. Anyway, let's go unbox this thing. All right, so we're all set up on the floor. Now, without further ado, let's uh, get uh, unboxing this thing. So I've got my uh, little knife there. And uh, yeah, let's find out what is in this box. I am really excited to find out what is in the box. It weighs a ton too, that's another thing I'll uh, say about it. Alright, there we are. So, there's the number. I'm going to uh, hopefully uh, read this note first before reading the uh, whole uh, parcel here. Or, sorry, unboxing the parcel because uh, the last time what I did was I unboxed it backwards. That's what I meant to say. Anyway, uh, happy leap day. You're going to love what's in here, Harrison. Didn't uh, break it down this time. Some locos work, some don't. Have fun. I know the Dodge truck isn't to scale, but place it on the layout in honor of Daniel. Uh, the KSC bag is from me and DB Tech uh, from the spring show me cheers uh, and we've got uh, Z to G Dave <laughs> Canadian spelling right there that's pretty funny anyway uh, yeah I'm uh, pretty excited to see what is in here Wow I Probably most excited to see if there's a distinctive Dodge Ram in here. Anyway, let's start unboxing some of this stuff. What is this? Wow, look at that! That's such a cool locomotive. I really love these old, uh, I, I don't, I can't remember. I've got the CN, I think a cow frame. I, I, I don't know the uh, exact design, but this is such a cool locomotive. I've never seen one like this in the BNO paint scheme. I think it's a Lima. It's either a Lima or RSO. Very cool. Um, okay, let's uh, see here. I think we've got a chassis system caboose in, uh, caboose in here. Have a look. Yeah, wow, chassis system caboose. I I honestly can't believe this. Like, David Z to G scale sent so many things, and, and here it is again. I'm, I'm you're gonna find a parcel headed your way at some point, David. I swear. <laughs> Canadian Forest Products, and it's from Lifelike. That is awesome. Uh, in here. Blue box box. It's beautiful CNR box car. I I I I I really can't believe this right now. This is crazy. What is in here? Something from Model Power. Oh boy. It's another like jumbo uh, F unit. I can't, is it an E8? I think this is an E8. Beauty. 
crazy. This is the Kentucky Fried Chicken. Got old uh, Colonel uh, Sanders on the front. From me and DV Tech. So this is from uh, David from DV Tech as well as David Z to G scale. So we'll have to, uh, maybe I'll open that one last. There's this Lionel Trains. I got some uh, armbands for that. And uh, is this the Dodge Ram? 1978 little Dodge truck. So yeah, here we go. I think this is the distinctive Dodge Ram, and I have to say it is pretty distinctive. So uh, great addition in uh, honor of uh, Daniel Huck. Ooh. I don't believe it. Look at this. Great little CN engine. I've actually been looking for one of these for a really long time. Wow. It's amazing. Oh, I think we got an Amtrak model too. I, I can't believe this right now. This is, I mean, it's, it's crazy. Okay, there's something large in there. Let's see, what's this? Oh, we got some movies. Railroad Tigers. John Candy, Canadian Bacon. I have never seen this movie before. I don't even know if I've heard of it, but it's about Canadian Bacon, I assume. Uh, let's see what's here. Sand scale stuff? Oh, check that out. Look, it's a uh, CNN scale car. Well, that'll be a nice uh, addition to the end scale layout. Okay, I really, I, I, I can't even believe this right now. This is a locomotive I've been actually looking for for a while now. It's a uh, Plymouth Switcher, I believe it's called, Santa Fe, and it's an end scale, and I actually wanted the uh, end scale model. And, uh, I mean, here it is. It's amazing. Wow. It's, uh, my mind is boggled right now. Anyway, uh, let's uh, see here. Okay, that's really cool. So uh, David Z to G scale actually sent me a photo of this because it was sort of unique. This is an older uh, Bachman Centennial. And I'm really curious to see what kind of drive system it has. Because uh, I'm not sure if they would have put a pancake motor type design in it or if it has all wheel drive. We'll have to uh, investigate that further at some point, but for now, uh, I'll just put it off to the side here. Here we've got a box. I think this is probably for that little Baltimore and Ohio switcher. That's pretty uh, special there. Anyway, let's uh, have a look. What is this? Reese's Pumpkins. Oh, I got some Hershey products. Okay, no way. <laughs> That is crazy. I'm actually wearing my uh, SMT Mainline shirt, so uh, the full facade is uh, is out now. I I, I I I can't believe this. Look at the quality of that. Thank you so much, uh, David. I, I my mind is just I, I can't believe this. Oh, we've got another caboose as well. Let's see here. Midnight Special. Like I, I'm, I'm in, I'm in absolute shock right now. This is just crazy. <laughs> it's a genuine SMT mainline polo. Wow. It's just incredible. And there's a black one as well. Shirt, I believe. Wow. I think this is the last thing in the box. 
just because the March photo. Scheme Town. Let's see here. Scheme Town National Historic Site. Check that out. Wow. Beautiful. Well, I I I don't even know what to say. Oh, I almost forgot we have to take up the Colonel Sanders box. I have to unbox this. This I should know it is from uh, David ZDG Skill as well as uh, DV Tech. So a Hershey's tanker car. That is awesome. I uh, wow. Take that on the way up, and then whatever. What is in here? Just do this by hand, I don't want to scratch it. Okay, it's a locomotive. No way! <laughs> Hershey's uh, locomotive. This is just so fancy. I've never seen this before. Who's it by? It's a Bachman model. Wow. Okay, I, this is better than like five Christmases. This is just mind blowing. Thank you so much, so, so much, David, Z to G skill. I just, like, I can't even believe this. It's ridiculously generous, and uh, my mind is just blown right now. And uh, also, thank you uh, very much to uh, David uh, DB Tech, who I guess also uh, contributed uh, part of these items, or half. I, I, don't, I don't entirely know, but uh, thank you as well. Well, folks, that's going to be it for today's video. I hope you all enjoyed. I certainly enjoyed unboxing all this stuff, and I really can't believe some of the things that uh, David sent, uh, such as this little uh, switcher. I mean, like, this is something that I always wanted, and uh, I can't believe I have one now, and I'm really excited to start working on it. And then there are things like the B&O locomotive. I think this is just such a cool-looking locomotive. Uh, there are the two switchers right here, and uh, I always wanted one of these uh, as well, so that's pretty cool. I like the Amtrak one quite a bit since it's got an older paint scheme. The uh, Hershey locomotive is just excellent, and the fact that it has a matching tank car really, uh, I think, makes it stand out quite a bit. And uh, then we've got things like the Centennial, and I'm really curious to see what this thing is all about, because I've got a modern Centennial made by Bachman, um, but they had, you know, different techniques for drive systems and stuff back then, and since this is a larger locomotive, I'm very interested to see what exactly uh, they put in this thing. So, uh, yeah, I want to uh, open that thing up at some point and have a closer look at it. Maybe we can compare it to my uh, newer Bachman locomotive. And, of course, there are just uh, other things like the two movies. I'm going to be interested to see those. We got some Hershey products. And uh, I think one of the things that I'm just most blown away by is the uh, sp custom, you know, made uh, SMT mainline branded stuff. I mean, I, I can't even imagine how much time and effort went into uh, making this stuff. Like, just look at the quality. I love the uh, acrylic fabric on it. It just, it just looks really nice, and uh, it really is. Uh, it, it's very special to me. It really does mean a lot. So, uh, yeah, I'm very, very happy with all that. Anyway, um, I want to thank you all so much for watching, and I want to once again thank David Z to G Scale so much for sending all this stuff. I am once again blown away. I really cannot believe it, and um, yeah, I, j I just can't believe it. So thank you so much, David. Uh, I also want to give a quick thanks to uh, David from DB Tech for contributing to the uh, Hershey set. I do appreciate that as well. Anyway, with that, I want to thank you all so much for watching.